Hello citizens, Sir6 here. Today I would like to discuss the new hover feature that will be implemented in 3.6. This feature in particular is near and dear to my heart because of my prior experience on the V22. The way I relate to this game is by bringing in my past experiences to give people some kind of perspective. I try not to make it too similar, especially for a game like this which is far from reality and 900 years in the future. But like some content creators, it never hurts the theory craft a little bit on what to expect. CIG, if you ever watch this, I ask you for some feedback and if possible to take this into consideration. Now here are my thoughts. The new hover mode will vastly improve the behavior of ships flying at low speeds in gravity and atmosphere. Players will be able to manually control the state of VTOL thrusters as ships enter a special mode. Once in this mode, players must focus on balancing the ship as it hovers. This will make hovering more realistic and add depth to atmospheric flight gameplay. So first off, for all of you who do not know, VTOL is vertical takeoff and landing, and STOL or STOL is short takeoff and landing. However, dissecting the feature summary I just went through, the first thing that grabs my attention is the manual control. I'd assume there will be a new key binding now instead of the nacelles of the thrusters rotating in conjunction with your landing gear. Or the VTOL thrusters will rotate relative to the speed you are going once you increase speed through your scroll wheel. However, this new feature allows you to alter the angle of the engines into a downward position. This is also known as thrust vectoring. This allows the ship or aircraft to transition from airplane mode, which is when your engines are 0 degrees relative to the vehicle, to conversion mode, which is anywhere from an angle of 5 to 70 degrees. Then you have full on hover mode, which is near or at 90 degrees, or straight up and down, or even like 92 degrees to push thrust a bit in front of you to slow your vehicle down. On the Osprey, the pods have a spring back thumb wheel on the collective grip, which will alter the angle of the nacelles. So ships like the Valkyrie would definitely benefit from this because of the four nacelles. And this will lay down the tracks for ships like the Starlifters and even larger ships within the development of the game that will also have VTOL thrusters. Another thing this all means is now if you lose an engine that provides VTOL thrust, the balance will be thrown off, making it extremely hard and maybe even near impossible to do a VTOL landing or even enter hovering. The second feature that is also going to be difficult for new players is ship balancing. So what does this even mean? In airplane mode, you only have to worry about one direction of flight, and that is your forward momentum. And even in conversion mode, you still carry this forward momentum. However, in VTOL mode, you are basically a helicopter, which means you will inherit six movements of flight direction. So balancing the ship will include countering side to side drift without tipping over. To explain this portion, in most ships, you can hover and spin on your roll axis and go nowhere. With the new VTOL improvements, if you were to press Q or E to roll your ship, your thrusters should start to push you in the direction you roll to, or drifting. You could use side to side strafe, but who knows? Maybe for VTOL ships, they will most likely have to rely on the VTOL thrusters for most of the movement. After all, the maneuvering and retro thrusters that are distributed all over the ship are not as strong as the main engines themselves. But once you start to rotate the thrusters forward, you will gain the stabilization as your flight surfaces cut through the air. One little caveat that I would like to touch up on is the control binding. I would find this suitable for players who like to fly with joysticks or a HOTAS setup. For people like me who fly DCS, one thing I have for sure with the Harrier is a little switch so I can roll back the engine nozzle so I can enter VTOL mode and transition back to airplane mode. I would love to see CIG do this because then people who fly with this setup would benefit from having even finer control. There you go, short and sweet. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below or in the post in Reddit. I would love to have discussion with you and keep thinking about what will happen once this is released. The Reddit link will be pinned in my comment as usual. If you personally enjoyed this and got something out of this video, then I want to ask you to consider liking it and possibly sharing it with a buddy or to anyone who you would think would enjoy this information. And consider subscribing if you enjoy my content overall. But until next time, fellow citizens, I will see you on the flip side.